On this edition of Up Close, he burst into the Bronx with a bang. Former Bash brother Jose Canseco on putting on the pinstripes, his sixth big league uniform, to the delight of George Steinbrenner and the surprise of Joe Torre. Like Sal, but I guess they have a certain material to where they uh, put the pinstripes in, they stitch it in, so actually the come through that, that, that organization. And uh, even as an opposing player coming in, you look out the Yankee Stadium, you think about the history that's behind it, you look out through the, through the monuments, and that's just exciting. Jose Canseco, pinch hitting. The 2 1 pitch here. Broken bat. Canseco hitless in his last 18 pinch hit attempts. He's hitting 167. Here's Jose Canseco, who looks like the Silver Surfer, sort of a comic book hero. Huge, muscular. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, did he crush that one? Jose Canseco off the facade of the upper deck. Welcome to the Bronx. It didn't take long, did it? Oh, man, was that something to see? With nobody out. We're talking about defense, we're talking about double plays. Mike Lamb thinks he's gonna get himself one, ignores the lead runner. Canseco legs this thing out. So you got Later, El Duque facing Eric Chavez. That's a shot to left field. It's a deep shot to left. Deep but playable. Canseco in left field for the first time since July 99. Top three, four zip Yanks. Mark Mulder facing Jose Canseco. Deep to center. Solo shot. Number 443 of his career. 12th of the year. Five Yanks. Derek Jeter on third. Jose Canseco's got big muscles. I bet he could lift like 100 pounds. This is 13th homer of the season. Fourth as a Yankee. Three nothing in favor of the Stripes. Bottom two, Jose feel the Canseco. love, this it's old timer today. Yankees Yankee Stadium, Jose Canseco, that's an old timer in left field, but look at him, confidently over to grab that ball off the bat of David Ortiz. And then the third inning, Corey Koski, you cannot get it over Jose Canseco. 2002, 1003, and was going on three no matter what. Jose Canseco got schooled by Latroy Hawkins. Complete control in this game. No, Jose Canseco cannot handle the yellow. He hoped that the knuckleball flattens out, and then it really can't be hit. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on. There it goes. Deep left center. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Over the screen. On to Lansdowne. A mighty two-run home run for Canseco. And the Yankees take a 5-1 lead. You know, we were kidding on our talk show watching batting practice. Canseco put him into orbit. Baby, that went into orbit. And that's his 14th home run of the year, a Coors Light Silver Bullet Blast, and the crowd is starting to leave. And that's what I meant, John. Why would you give him a chance to uncoil? And that's exactly what you let him do. And he probably got a flat knuckleball, a knuckleball that flattened out. We're gonna see a replay. And it did, it, it flattened out. It just was a spinner, they call him. Jose Canseco facing Joey Hamilton in the second, and Jose Canseco dings one through the left side. He was three for three, three runs, three RBIs. Tino Martinez, one of the RBIs, 2-1 Yanks. Three batters later, Chuck Knobloch. Yanks are going to make the playoffs, and then they get ready for the first round. Now they win the East. It'll be a 1-1. Swung on there, goes to left. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Jose Canseco takes a Hamilton pitch deep in the lower seats and left. It is a two-run Jose home run, and the Yankees take a 6-1 lead. Well, that's his 15th home run of the year, a classic Canseco blast high and far. Looked like it might have a chance to head into the upper deck, but it skimmed up against the, the facing and landed about 10 rows back in the lower deck. A Coors Light Silver Bullet Blasting now has three runs batted in on the game. And uh, the thing that Hamilton's doing in this game that he had not been doing, he's getting pitches up. And he's also falling behind in the count. That pitch was in. You see how fast his back go through the zone? For Canseco, 15 homers, 47 RBIs. And the Yankees now have given Denny Nagel a very big 6-1 lead. Down. Meanwhile, two out, two strikes on Jose Canseco. Ring him up, sit him down. 14-0 Indians. The runner aboard, Ted Lilly to Manny Ramirez. Hi, Jose Canseco. Actually, there should be a T in Kent. 
Seiko. And oh. Problems. Kenny Lofton scores. Jose in the second. Third inning. Jose Canseco. Wells was perfect through four and a third. At one with Jose Canseco on first. Tino Martinez at the plate. Rips one to center over Gerald Williams's head. And Jose Canseco on his imaginary horse. Here is the throw. Here is the play at the plate. And Canseco is called out. And Mike D. And that someone is Jose Canseco or Jose Biscaino. Depending on whether Joe needs and the Yankees need a long ball or a base hit. David Cohn, who was on this mound for the first time since 1992, thinking, is that it? Is that all I'm going to get? He's also saying, hey, remember, I'm a pretty good hitter. But not in this situation if the inning should fall to the number nine spot, which is three spots away. One on, one out. That's Canseco. You might see him for the first time in this postseason. Coming up. He doesn't have Turk Wendell. And I think Joe Torrey loves this matchup. If you're Valentine, you at least have to think about bringing in a right hander to face Kenseiko. But no one is up in the Met bullpen. And now someone's getting up, but it's too late to get him ready, I think. Jose Kenseiko. The 1989 American League Championship Series, Game 4 at Skydome. This home run with the A's against the Blue Jays, the fifth tier of the left feature. The ball officially measured at 480 feet. But those in the park that game, and I know Bob Costas and Tony Kubek did that game, I'll tell you it went about 500 feet, maybe more, as Rick White loosens up. But it is going to be Glendon Rush against Jose Canseco. He might get him out, but Joe Torre loves this matchup. He noticed no one was up for the Mets in their bullpen. And now Rush is forced to pitch to Canseco because Rick White's not ready. Jose Canseco called on to be a pinch hitter, something he's not used to. Valentine trying to get Mike Piazza's attention. Now he looks over. And Cinco third on the home run list among active players. Former Bash brother Mark McGuire at the top of that list. McGuire ended this season as a pinch hitter. Two on, two out, and Canseco takes ball one. Canseco for a big guy, for a home run hitter, has a very good eye. He's a better low ball hitter at this stage of his career because you don't need as quick a bat on the low pitch as you do the high pitch. It's like he's up there taking a strike and it's one and one. And Senko, in case you're wondering, five out of 31 in his career as a pinch hitter. And in his career against Glendon Rush, two out of seven with no home runs. Two hits in the inning. Two on, two out, and Rush steps off. And Senko trying to add to a 3-2 Yankee lead. Two and one. Runners on. Neil and Brocious with Jeter, who's already two out of three tonight next, but it's Rush and Canseco. <laughs> Tied him up, strike two. So you can uh, look at Jose Canseco with the hands that low. There's no way he's going to hit a ball that is up. That makes him a low ball hitter. Futile swing right there. Overpowered a powerful man. A 25 year old left hander, Glendon Rush, with a 2 2 to Canseco. Got him looking.
champions.